Hello, parents and martial arts students. Just for fun, Super Christine and I thought we'd do a little video tutorial on how to tie the belt uh, in the way that we do here at our school and within this tradition. Now, uh, I'll do the first version uh, as a student tying it on for themselves, and then Super Christine will come out and tie a belt on me as a parent might for a child, or as you have no doubt seen her do uh, on many an occasion. So beginning with, uh, this is my belt, this is my black belt, uh, it's older than most of you watching probably, uh, and although it does look both green and orange and faded black, it is indeed a black belt. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find the center of the belt, where it's evenly spaced on either side. From the center of that belt, we slide out and we're going to place the center of the belt upon our center. And as a student, we're going to take our right hand and we're going to move that all the way around behind and back in front, and then we'll hold it in place with that top layer of belt. And you'll notice there is no uh, crinkle or fold within the belt. Now, that left-hand side is going to come all the way around, laying evenly over the top of that belt, coming back to the front. This is our chance right here to see if that belt is relatively even. You can see that one side is just a little bit longer than the other, so I'll move it over. Now this top belt is going to come underneath both, folding the way it wants to fold, right back up. We cinch it out, and here's where we double check yet again, relatively even. The bottom belt wants to curve this way. If we just allowed it to fold, it would fold in, whereas the top belt wants to fold over. So we're going to place the top belt on top. We're going to reach through the hole that we've created. We're going to pull that up and through, and then we're going to cinch it tight. And we know it's correct when it looks like you have a fortune cookie going to your left. And again, the belt is lined up all the way around with absolutely no overlap or crisscross in the back. Now, from the parent's point of view, we're going to have Super Christine come out and tie a belt on me. And we're going to use an orange stripe belt so that you can see uh, the folds in the belt maybe a little bit more clearly than we can see this one. Okay, here we go. Hello, everyone. So, again, you're going to find the middle. And I like to have the students help me while doing this so that they have the practice and can learn how to do it. I take the middle, put it on the middle of them. Then I ask them to take this side and wrap it all the way around until it comes to the front while I hold the middle for them so that they can uh, still have their belt stay upon their body. Then I hold this part for them and I have them wrap this side to their left, all the way around, again, so they're laying over the top of each other. Now from here, we have them take the one that's on the top, I show them that there's three different layers, one on the bottom, one in the middle, one on the top, and I take this top one, lay it over both of them, and I have them tuck it up underneath so it comes out the top, up towards their face. This is where I tell them they get to tighten it as tight as they would like it, and then we take, like Sifu was saying, they have a tendency to fold each way, so I have them take this one over top and I show them that that's how they want to lay and I hold on to one of them, the one that's not going to move, so the one on the bottom, and then I have them tuck this one up underneath, through the hole, make sure they grab it with this hand so that their hands are on the correct side of the belt, and this is where they can pull it tight. And if they don't quite get it tight enough, this is where I come in and they ask me to tighten it. Depending on what student it is, they will ask for a certain number of tightnesses. I usually do two, unless they request more. So we go one, two, make it tight, and then all of them with stripes tend to like their stripes showing, and so I fold it so that their stripes can be folded outwards and they can see the stripe all the way through their belt. And again, overlaid nicely with no crisscross in the back. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. We'll be sure to have this up on the website so you can watch it over and over again. Over and over again. Thank, Thank you. you.